So I'm not sure whose idea it was to give crabs shotguns, but here we are, and I'm gonna use them to blow up every other crab in the area. Yes! As well as all these giant slugs that like to roll up, but we take them out and... What just shot things over there? Go away. These shotguns are so nice. Oh, there's ants over here. Ants don't belong in the water. But now we took out all of them, we get some sweet upgrades. Ooh, that one's purple. Thorn explosion. Grenades explode into homing thorns? Oh, I like that. Oh, now this is quite the difficult choice. Do I want to be random or lucky? I think right now I'm feeling it's so random. Quirky randomness. So we just got to take out more of these crabs and we have some grenades that we can use as well that do a lot of good things, especially since those are the ones that got the thorn upgrades. So I should use that more often, but none of them gave thorns. Oh, and there's jack-o'-lanterns? What is this about? This is the wrong season for jack-o'-lanterns, which means I have to take them out even sooner. And they're also dividing into more, which I don't like. And there's also gigantic grubs that are just weird looking. They look like sea bears or whatever that- Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was a chain reaction. I don't even know what I was trying to say earlier. Those like weird micro bear things that can survive space. And I do like the sound of this upgrade. Chance for enemies to drop health pickups when eliminated, which will double up nicely with the awards from a health chest. And we can also blow up these rocks for even better things like fire magma pools that damage everybody. I love this. And then I want some more damaging thorns for chain reactions, but that sadly didn't do it. And there's also a, is that a skull? That's a floating skull. Well, I guess I'll take that over jack-o'-lantern. Just gotta take care of more things and more baddies. And there's some health pickups, which are good, even though I haven't really needed them yet. And you get a special grenade. Oh, took him out right away. Very nice. And we could heal after clearing an island, or we can get some more max HP. I think I like that. And we could go random again. Or we get epic rarity from a chest that will damage us when we open it. I'm not sure that's a good idea because damage. Oh, but we do get an extra reward if we don't take damage. I think I like that idea. So all we have to do is survive a horde of enemies for 40 seconds. I think I can get away with that as long as I just scoot around like I do, dodging absolutely everybody and not letting them get close to me. Yeah, like that guy. Yeah, run away. Jump up here and then boost. Oh gosh, there's a lot of guys right there. Just gotta keep moving, moving. Oh gosh. And maybe uh, blow some up as well. That'll help me survive. Ooh, look at the, look at that combo of kills there. Okay, yep. Just gotta keep moving and moving and moving. There's so many crabs right there. I gotta survive five seconds. Ah, no, I took damage. Ah, darn it. I was so close to getting the flawless. Whatever, we still get one chest. Probably for the best, because I have to sacrifice health to open it. Ooh, shotgun blast? Along with my shotgun blast? Yo, dog, heard you like shotgun blasts. But now we get to go to the shop, where there's a lot of Healy Baubles over here, and some extra money rocks. Oh, that's a golden upgrade, but I can't afford it. Why do you have to do this to me, Tony? Just let me have the golden upgrades. Tell you what I can afford, though. More max HP. And then we can go and get a lucky chest. And to be lucky, we have to take away everybody else's luck and just eliminate them very nicely with some thorn grenades. Yes, very good. And there's a lot of guys over here. Where'd you come from? Oh great, there's a skull that showed up. You get a special grenade and you get shotgun blasts, ow. Okay, ow, they deal fire. I don't like that very much. Grenade, just gotta keep scooting around, ow. And I would like to eliminate enemies so they can drop health up, uh, pickups. I would also like to eliminate these fire skulls because they are the most annoying things ever. I would like a lot of things. Okay, eliminate some more enemies. Let's get some more thorns going. Very good. Ooh, and those are the health pickups. Grab those really quick. Very good. Ow, get blasted into the water. There's so much happening. Just go away, fire skulls. Oh, and uh, <laughs> that guy just blew up on his own, I guess. Cool. And now we get to be lucky. Ooh, purple lucky. Chance to get an additional reward chest when flawlessly clearing an island? Oh, well, that can happen anytime, huh? I think I'll try to be flawless, even though it's gonna be more difficult as we go on. And I've already got a health upgrade once. Let's go elemental. And we try to do this flawlessly because we flawless and that just means taking out all these guys before they get a chance to do anything and also probably making use of these uh, rocks that do good things for us yes look at all those deaths it's getting wow oh gosh that's a shotgun crab ah that's really gonna make this hard to be flawless but he's already gone which is good and that fire crab is gonna be annoying yep just like that out and there goes the flawless and that armor that the crabs start with is really beneficial for them but only to a point and this fire crab really needs to go away. Ow, and he's done. Okay, elemental things, be good. Shots apply random debuffs. Yes, please. And we can do it again, as long as we survive the horde. And it's a lot easier to be flawless on these maps. Just gotta dart around like I do, avoiding the slugs and everything else. Wow, melee you, I forgot I had a melee. Just launch a grenade back there, very good. I don't even get to see what I'm doing because cool guys don't look at explosions. Oh gosh, whoa, that slug was about to blow up with lightning. Got way too close for that. Way too close for comfort. Go away, all of you. <laughs> I love that. 
Maybe cool guys should look at explosions. And I gotta do this for 20 more seconds. Let's just blow up this rock and be done with it. Very nice. Get out of the water. I'm slow in the water. Ooh, and we cleared the island with taking no damage. Very nice. Oh, but we didn't get the flawless. I guess it was only a chance to. And let's get more random debuffs. And then we get one more trip to the shop before the big baddie at the end. So we just collect all the money on the side here. And we can afford this purple. Ooh, a sentry turret. Yes. And now we get to take everything we have over to the big baddie. We have to take out the elite enemy. And oh gosh, it's a fire crab. And he has his own shotgun. Ah, he's like a better version of me. But he doesn't do debuffs like I do. He just does fire and orbs everywhere. Ah, have some more grenades and get zaptified and everything. You're getting way too close to, for comfort. I need you to go away and grenade. I need, where's my sentry turret, by the way? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, here it is. Hello, little guy. You look, ow. Okay, please do good things for me. Ah, just need to, okay. This is not working out for me very well. I need more debuffs on him. Uh, whoa, he's got ads. He has ads. Actually, ads drop health, so maybe that's a good thing. But, ooh, he's frozen. Oh, I didn't get frozen very long. I just, whoa. Okay, reload. You can't, oh, why is he shooting through rocks? This guy's cheating. Frozen again, and then grenade. Yes, we cleared it. Oh, so many good things from that. Like a shiny key to unlock new stuff. An epic chest. Ooh, damage increased after clearing an island. Or a chance for shots to scatter into smaller shots on impact. I like this one, but I also like this one. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can survive this run. We do get a bronze heart from this, so we can go on to the next biome, which is ice. Ice is nice, but I'm not sure crabs go with ice very well. Ah, well, time to take out all our frustrations on the ice crabs. And there's also ice rocks everywhere, and you go away. Thankfully, we're still able to keep up with everything and take out this and to clear the island. And I didn't notice there were money rocks just scattered throughout the world. Let's collect these. And then we can get the reload damage upgrade and just gotta find our sentry turret before we start anything so we can have fun with it. He actually does a fair bit of damage. I thought it was gonna be more of like a deterrent than an actual use. And there's also a skull there that I really don't like the skulls very much. They hurt, so we just gotta hurt them even better. Wow, I just melted that one. And then we sneak around to this one. Oh, I guess these are just the basic skulls. That's why they don't survive very long. Chance to gain ammo when dealing damage? I think yes. And a double damage chest. And the enemies here spawn spike strikes when eliminated. What is that like? Oh, just spike strips everywhere, so they can't let them get close to me. Not sure if they damage each other all that much, but whoa, that was an explosion. Okay, I wanna lay, I wanna lead them over to this purple rock because I'm pretty sure that's lightning. Yes, they're zapping everybody. Oh, that works beautifully. Blocker skull gets taken out. Very nice. So now we get double damage things. Shots bounce around and deal more damage after each bounce. I can be good with that. And damage increased when hip firing. Well, I can't really aim. There's just no aiming with shotguns. You don't need to aim with a shotgun. Flawless for a health chest. I'll do that. Just gotta survive the horde. Oh, no, I got hit. So much for that. Ooh, and we can get some armor. Reduces elemental damage, protects combo, and will block one hit. Or just get more max health. I think yes, so that I can soak up more healy bits in the shop. And this one is red. Max health increase, but more enemies spawn. Interesting. This juggernaut sounds really fun. I'm gonna go for this. It was a nice price too. Ooh, double random chest? And I have to go up against homing thorns. And oh, there's a homing thorn. Get away from you. Just, guy. yeah, I said get away. Okay, just grenade go. You guys. Oh, knock the slug off the map. Love that. I would like to knock these grubs off the map as well because they're big and annoying and I should probably freeze things too. I kind of lost track of my turret, but I should probably guide enemies back towards it. And the juggernaut really hasn't been damaging me all that much. But now the level hasn't ended yet. Is there a crab that's hiding? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Silly crabs. Give me the double randoms. Ooh, bronze heart. Or just a big load of crystals. Wow. Or, you know, I could just gain crystals when damaging enemies. That's good, too. I think more max health. And let's go random again. Because there's nothing more random than crabs with shotguns. And whack. Grenades. And big meaty claws. And then... There's a totem over here. What do you do? Uh, I'll find out after the level is done and get rid of fire ants. That had a nasty face. I didn't realize the ants had that. Which means you just gotta blow them up sooner. Ha! <laughs> Very nice. I would say I'm keeping up with the Juggernaut upgrade pretty nicely, which just means it was all the more worth getting. And those two are uh, fusion. Didn't work out very well for them. So what was this totem over here? 25% chance to get a pickup? Sure. 
Ooh, and it gave me one. Nice. Damage increase after eliminating an enemy? Sure. How about we do it again? Ooh, we got one more. Bronze armor. Cool. Now I don't have enough crystals. All right. There goes all my life savings. Ooh, turret damage increased? My sentry's gonna love that. And a skill chest. Is this the game's way of telling me that it's a skill issue? Well, I haven't died yet, so who's really having a skill issue? Hmm? It's also teasing flawless for not taking damage. Thankfully, there's a jumper over there. And wow, that's a lot of crabs right there. Let's blow up that lightning rock. Very good. Ooh, wow. That was a lot of kills. It's still going. I love it. Crabs don't really seem to know how to get up here. I'm okay with that. And throw a grenade. Very nice. Let's just see what my sentry turret can do. It's doing okay. But I think my grenades are still doing better. Just need 20 more seconds of bouncing around like a madman or a mad crab. And I would like that ice rock to blow up, please. And I would just like all these crabs to blow up, please. Eight more seconds. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was very close. But I think I did it. Yes, I did. Hey. Two skill chests. How's that for a skill issue game? Ooh, both of these have the big mag upgrade. How does that increase? 15 shots! And I think that's per shotgun too. That is excellent. Hopefully Tony has more excellent things for me. Oh, there's a chest in here. Sure, poison shot. Shots poison enemies. And I could lose 10% of my health for a chance to get another pickup. Ah, oh, there's more healy things, so sure. Hey, and it got me one. Money shot, yes. And let's do it again. Ooh, another one. Imploding grenades, sure. How about another one? And another one. And another one. Ooh, that one gave me a purple. Bubble blast. Grenades explode into damaging bubbles. I like me some bubbles, especially when they damage enemies. Okay, now we only have 50 health left. Shots do more damage when aiming, but less damage when hip firing. I uh, don't really want that. Salvage it. And we'll just heal up a little bit. And maybe we'll be done with that because now I can't buy the expensive upgrades. What is this one? Rapid fire? Well, that's a good one. And now I'm going into the elite with 125 health. I might have gotten a little greedy. And it's a big skull. All right, then. We'll just have to poison you. Ow, and, and he launches ice things everywhere, so that's cool. He actually isn't being too much of a problem. Okay, that's a problem. Thankfully, the armor shard I had helps with that, and now that's gone. Just gotta wait for the poison to take effect. That is so much poison stacking, too. And that was very fast. I like it. Give me the key. Health chest. Let's see what the purple has before we decide. Hmm, both of these give an upgrade to something I already had. I think the shotgun blast is a better thing to stack. And then we get some bronze heart. And now we can go to the next biome. We're doing surprisingly well with this. Ooh, volcanic. Look at that lake of lava. Or is that an ocean? I'm thinking that's an ocean of lava because, you know, oceans and crabs and things. And there's so many explosions happening. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was a quick clear on that island. I love it. Only thing I'm wondering though, does the lava damage me if I touch it? It doesn't seem like it. So that's cool. Damage increase to nearby enemies? Yes. And maybe we should try a parkour map. I feel like we're pretty fast. And there's a floating bananas right here. Okay, I only have a minute. Gotta go. Gotta go. Whoa, I'm super fast. And wee! Okay, got the checkpoint. And then boost some more. And some more. We're still getting an epic chest, which I like. Oh gosh, I overshot. No, there it is. Oh, I shouldn't have missed that. Ooh, but we still got a purple out of it and it's increased thorn explosion. Yes, now let's see, a health chest or an elemental chest. I'm thinking elemental's more fun. I just want to group up a bunch of enemies together and then, oh, poison crap, and then grenade them all. And that works pretty good. It cleared out a lot of them. I like it. I also want to get rid of that poison crab as quickly as possible because I don't really like the poison if I'm not doing it to them. Ooh, fire shot. Shots can burn enemies as well? Or a random shot. Yes. And I never really got a speed upgrade. I really wonder what these are like. And there's a jack-o'-lantern. Not sure why they show up here. I guess it makes more sense with a volcanic island than just standard tropics. Although that really makes me wonder what places like Hawaii do for Halloween. Do they do jack-o'-lanterns out of pumpkins or like pineapples? In any case, fire rate increase is always good. I'm really surprised at the success of our run. I think this is the farthest I made it. Ooh, an epic upgrade. Money is power. Damage increased by 10% for every thousand crystals you have. Ooh, it makes me really not want to buy things, even though it is a really good idea to get some upgrades, I think. Except none of these upgrades do too much for me, so I think I'll keep the crystals I have. And we'll get another skill chest. And there's a lot more enemies now, and this one looks different. So, whoa, okay, there's an item there, but also spawn some slugs. I just need to make use of all the elemental things right now. And wow, look at all those damage numbers. I love it. And what is this? Chance based totems roll in my favor? Cool. Just need to get rid of that fire skull. Very good. And then, wow, there's so many slugs right there. Ah, and a fire crab. Okay, 
Not good. I should really hang around by my turret more. There's a whole reason I got it. Oh, and we froze a fire skull. That's kind of funny. And froze a fire crab as well. And blast you into the lava. Do you burn in the lava? I don't think you do. Whoa! How did I dodge all those shots? That was amazing. And now once we be flawless in this horn map, we get double damage chest. I like it. Oh my gosh, there's so many crabs right here. Why? Ooh, but this cave looks really cool. I like it. Sadly, there's no boosters around here for me to just cheese everybody, which means I just need to encourage everybody to keep their distance. Oh gosh, and not corner myself. And I took damage. Just gonna survive and build up a lot of crystals for a lot of damage. I didn't realize how many I had, but you know, we can still get good things from one chest, like increased turret damage. And there's a crystal totem in the shop. I can gain crystals, but lose health. Well, there's a lot of health upgrades left. Might as well just grab that and then pick up some of these. Not really sure how much I wanna do that now. There's a boss and this one's red instead of purple like the other ones. Are any of these worth getting? Heal after eliminating enemies, that could be good. But I also have a big damage increase right now. How much GPS do we get? Okay, oh, 28,000? Oh, this boss doesn't stand a chance. Oh, it's a big giant ant. Hello, giant ant. That also deals poison. Ow, and a lot of it. Okay, ow, this this hurts. I, th I was supposed to be the one melting you, not the other way around. What is this? Okay, just gotta survive and then deal a lot of damage. And wow, you are just not nice to me right now, are you? I would like to do elemental things. That armor just takes away so much. Yeah, no, oh, I got cornered and, ah. Well, that definitely was the farthest I ever made it. I had never seen that guy before. And I think we get some good things from that too. Yeah, because we were collecting those keys. So we can unlock new loot permanently. An auto shotgun? Oh, oh. I would very much like to use this. So if you guys want to see that in a future video, then definitely be sure to let me know. And hope you guys enjoyed this video of Crab Champions. This is a fun little game, and I am all about the weirdness that is Crabs with Guns. So thank you very much for watching, and sub to intern. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Donomoto, Deviana X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.